Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Hey girl, hey. Thank you so much again for stopping by. As you can see by the title, today I am back to share with you all. These are the three new MAC Girl Collection palettes, but there's an exception. They actually have two matching lipsticks and two matching lip glosses. As always, by the time this video is up, this collection actually i think this collection if i'm not mistaken is going to be released first at macy's department stores if you live here in the states without further ado let's just get into it if you are interested in seeing the three new mac girls collection palettes with the two matching lipsticks and lip glosses then keep on watching let's start off with smarty pants this is the palette and as you can see, it has this composition book theme going on here. It does have a mirror and you can see some formulas peeking out there. And then these are the shades. It does come with a plastic insert with all the shade names. Next we have the two lip glasses. You can see they also have the composition book theme going on. This one is called I Am Too Smart. And this really pretty nude color is called Audible. Oh, I think I'm gonna love this one. There are also two lipsticks with the palette. The lipstick is a frost finish and it might seem very much familiar to a lot of you. This one is called Shimmer and Spice. It is a re-promote from the MAC Holiday 2017 from last year, which I know a whole bunch of us loved. And the second lipstick is a matte finish and it is called Smarticle. Definitely giving some fall vibes. It reminds me of Chili. I can't wait to try this one. Girl. Where's Chili? This lipstick, this gives me total Chili vibes. I feel like Chili is deeper. A really close chili has a more of a red base as you can see here while a uh, smarticle is a more orange base but they're both super super gorgeous second palette is called raver girl back comes with a mirror comes with this plastic insert oh girl that purple The two lip glasses for the collection. This bright hot pink is called Bracelets Galore. The second lip gloss is called Deep Set. It's a very nice deeper purple. Moving on to the two lipsticks, again has that same theme, it's called Who Wants Candy? Now I had to apply this lipstick two times before you were able to see any of it, so just in case you're wondering, this is not one application, this is two applications. Second lipstick is Frost Finish and it is called Rave Girl. My gosh, look at this purple! Moving on to the third palette, this is the Pretty Punk palette. The back side, the palette with the mirror and the insert. Wow, look at that lime green. Wow. These are the two lip glasses of the collection. 
first gloss is called Buzz Cut. I'm not sure if the camera will actually pick it up, but this actually has kind of like a shift, chrome shift to it. It's actually a very nice like pink colored glitter, believe it or not, because in the tube it looks like kind of just a clear lip glass with shimmer in it but it actually has a reflective pink glitters in it. Second lip gloss, kind of like a light purple. This one is called God Save the Sheen. And these are the two lipsticks. This first lipstick is a glaze finish and it is called Glamour of Punk. Just FYI is two applications on the lips. First time I tried applying it, it did not show up whatsoever. So now it just gives a really subtle hint of pink to the lips. The second lipstick is a cream sheen finish and this one is called Black Night. I'm not sure if you can tell in the camera, but there's actually iridescent glitter in the actual lipstick. So it won't be as bold as per se a matte finish. This is looks really, really shiny. some highlight. I'm going to use this one from the Smarty Pants palette, of course. Uh, subtleness. I actually wanted to ask you in this video, have you been liking the MAC Girl palettes at all? Like, guess or mm. first four that were released. I will have a card up here if you want to watch that video. I was like, no and then the next four that came out i actually did film the video but of course you know life got in the way and that just didn't end up working out which is fine no big deal you really missing out on anything girl like let's let's be honest and so i was just like i don't even know if anyone wants to see or would be interested in a video but again i did get these and i was really excited that they brought out kind of matching lipsticks along with the palettes maybe should have done that you know two collections ago but always have to keep it 100 with you all do i 
feel like you need you need to rush out like pause this video now grow and go get these absolutely not absolutely not there's so many makeup brands not that there's a bad thing i think it's great that we all can have something that we particularly enjoy not something that's gonna be like yeah but there's nothing else so i'm gonna get it no, I'm sure there's something else, girl, now. The palette that actually disappointed me the most, not that I had any kind of expectations, like, let's be honest, I had really low expectations. If I'm going to be completely honest, based off all the other MAC Girl palettes, I was just like, eh, I'm not, mm. This one, Raver Girl, girl, you know I'm all about that purple life, okay? I am all about this purple life, absolutely. But I can't justify me or anyone purchasing this palette just for this color all of the other shades were just like really that's it it no skip always see this every video now but it's true always do you pick something that you know you're gonna use that's number one i know a lot of us are like me and our makeup collectors hoarders whatever you want to call us but realistically speaking i'm getting a little bit better at well I like to give my makeup away, period, to like family members and friends, but that's besides the point. But when I look at a product and say, do I really think I'm going to be using this? Yes or no? Do I see this? Colors that I would go for? You know me. Absolutely not. Pretty Punk. I had very, very low expectations for this palette, but these colors, girl, oh, just everything. They all swatch really, really nicely. Yes, it's one thing to swatch nicely on the arm. It's something else to, you know, actually perform very nicely on the eyelid. But based off the swatches, girl, this is nice. This kind of reminds me of the Justine Sky. I can't remember her powder. Oh, the purple. Oh, absolutely love it. But overall, I'm actually really interested in maybe playing around with this palette. Something different. This isn't a sponsored video. But mac is asking what type of mac girl are you and there are ladies or gents that love these colors and this is their comfort zone my personal favorite hands down i was so surprised by this one i didn't think i was gonna like it this is so me i had no expectations for this palette because what looks nice doesn't most of the time when it comes to mac perform nicely most of the time not gonna hate. Pleasantly surprised with this palette. Hands down my favorite of all, all of the MAC Girl palettes. All of them. This is my favorite. They are very nicely pigmented. This is a very nice basic neutral palette. I feel like anyone could love this more of that everyday type of wear which you all know me i'm all about that light i do recommend it i'm not saying you have to go out and get it but it's very nice but girl the one product that i absolutely have to recommend to you all and i'm sorry um, you should know me i always recommend at least one product if i'm being perfectly honest hands down the highlight for me of this collection was smarticle reminds me of chili Chili hands down is one of my top MAC lipsticks and it is one of MAC's best selling lipsticks for a reason, especially in Asia, it's, it is MAC's best selling lipstick. Not sure if some of you feel this way. I have a lot of friends that love the concept of Chili but feel that it would be a little bit too bold on them. I feel like this is the perfect medium. I have Pamela Sue, but this is definitely more of a pink, but I'm just gonna show you all. This top one right here is Smarticle. The middle one is Chili. And this one is Pamela Sue. They're all matte finishes, with which I absolutely love. Hopefully you can see that Smarticle has a little bit more of an orange tone to it than Chili. Chili has more of a red base to it. They are pretty close, but Chili is just a little bit deeper. I personally feel like anyone, I don't care what skin tone you are, anyone could rock Chili. It's just one of those colors like, oh, I can't get enough of Chili. I absolutely love it. If you don't have Chili, girl, get Smarticle. Like, where are you at? You need to get this lipstick. I absolutely recommend Smarticle. I love it. Fall is here with Smarticle. Like, fall vibes for sure but let me know your thoughts down below as always yay nay saving up for 
what's next as always if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up i would really really appreciate it don't forget to let me know your thoughts down below so if you're not already girl click that red subscribe button for me join the fam make a porters unite no i'm kidding and like i've been saying the past couple of videos which i'm pretty sure you're tired of hearing but it's true girl if you don't click on that little notification bell first of all you're probably not gonna see your girl in your subscription box because you know your girl and her uploading schedule is cray cray so please click on that little bell besides the subscription box that will let you know as soon as i upload thank you all as always for watching and spending some time with me i hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you all next week for another Mac collection video, I promise. Love you all so much, and I will see you all next week. Bye, everyone.